Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. This is Jake. Uh, this is your weekly update. Make sure you share this on all your platforms. We say that every week, Jake. And I just wonder how many people do. Nobody. So uh, make sure you're sharing this. Um, get the word out. Jake, we got uh, several things coming up. It's Christmas. Yes. I.e. the tree in the back. So need to clarify a couple things around our Christmas Eve service. Christmas Eve service will be a blend of a normal Christmas Eve service with our regular Sunday service because we're not going to have service on Christmas Day. But it's, it's going to be, it's, 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 you're going to love it. Yeah, it's, it's going to love it. But there's one main difference is there's no children's church and there's no preschool because nursery nursery because Christmas Eve is always a family service. And we'll gear it that way. So uh, it's going to be one hour from five o'clock to six o'clock. That way you can get onto your Christmas Eve activities and that kind of stuff, family and that, that deal. And we will have, just like we do every Christmas Eve, we'll have crafts set out by the doors mm-hmm. for your kids to pick up. And that's not for you. <clears throat> that's for the kids, Jay. Yeah, I know. Because I know. you're always gathering those up and well, sitting at the back of the auditorium. Yep. You say you're praying, but I know you're doing those. <laughs> well, I don't tests. listen to your messages since I write them. I already have kind of gone over them in my head. Oh, you write them. Wow. Taking over a new job deals, too. Hey, we announced Fathers in the Field this last Sunday, and i uh, just really excited about that. Kind of want to bring some clarity around that because the video we showed, uh, a lot of people thought, man, if I don't hunt, I, I don't, don't fish. Hunt, I don't fish. Um, I can't do this ministry. Well, I don't work on cars. Here's the deal. You, it's it's whatever you're involved in. Yeah. And if woodworking, <clears throat> golf, uh, yard work, it's just hanging out with a young man. It's hanging out with that young boy that doesn't have a father. Uh, and so if you hunt, that's great. If you fish, that's great. If you if you golf. If you like to travel the state of Texas and watch high school football and high school basketball. It's a great thing. Take it's them with thing. you. If you just like to watch football on Sunday, the Cowboys play this Sunday at noon and uh, you Y'all just want to hang out and watch the football game and and do that. I mean, that's that's it's just yeah. hanging out with that young man. And then there's that uh, discipleship that goes with that. So uh, you may have watched that video or heard last week and just made that sound. Hey, I don't fish. I don't yeah. hunt. Yeah, I we didn't do this. We actually did have some questions about that. Yeah. <clears throat> So anyway, uh, you'll have an opportunity to sign up for that on January the 15th. We'll kind of begin to bring everybody together in that information meeting and training and uh, kind of moving forward with that. If you're a single mom or you know a single mom uh, with a young man, uh, get her connected with that ministry with Brian or uh, Tim, some of those guys that are involved in that, connect them to them. And, and that way she can begin that relationship and that process of figuring out how to get her son involved. Involved in that. So, uh, cool deal. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Got any questions? Reach out to me or Jake. We'll connect you with Brian uh, and Brian Hawkins, who we introduced Sunday morning, uh, who's leading this ministry for us, doing a great the job. Church champion. Yeah. I love that title. Church yeah. champion. You know, I was thinking about that this last cool. Sunday. You mentioned that, and somebody may not know what that meant. He's just a leader of that. Oh, I thought it's because he won a battle royale and was the champion. He's the church champion. Yeah. So anyway, uh, what else we got, dude? Christmas. Not a whole lot. All the families have been taken care of. Thank you. Angel trees were taken care of. Summit families were taken care of. We actually had some families in our local schools. They were taken care of. We had some families uh, reach out to us from another town. They were taken care of. So So appreciate all of y'all. Yeah, just continue to give through the end of the year as we meet needs in the community. Uh, all of those things he was just talking about is because of your generosity. Uh, and you continue to be generous to this community. Hey, and, I, and I, let me plug something really mm-hmm. quick. I was talking to someone, they thought this was the weirdest thing, and then I explained it to them, and they were like, oh, I totally get it. I'm going to tell you a need that's about to come up. It comes up every year in our community. We have a lot of RV parks in this area, and when the weather gets cold, <clears throat> the people that live in those RV parks that are on fixed incomes, they they run through probably a, a, a thing of propane every two or three days trying to heat those things. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of widows, there's a lot of elderly uh, that are going to be reaching out to us looking to get their propane filled. That is a massive need every year. So just wow. little things like that wow. that you may not even know your giving does in this community. Yeah, meeting those needs in the community. Um, it's huge. 
Uh, it's nice to be a part of a church like that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's cool. And also, uh, we did vote on our budget last week. It passed. Uh, 99% uh, uh, passed on that. So we're excited <clears throat> about moving into 2023 and uh, seeing what God's going to do for us. That's like, a, that's like a 3.95 GPA. Right, our budget has a 3.95 GPA. Uh, here's the deal, though. Your giving matters, and, and it, it really does. And, and we're grateful that we get to be a part of that. Uh, it's a blessing that we get to carry a lot of that out mm-hmm. uh, and just communicate that back to you. So uh, let's finish a year strong. Let's finish our budget well this year going into 2023, continue to meet those needs. So uh, thank you, Summit. Got anything else this morning, bro? I don't think so. Uh, you're, gonna, uh, you're wearing a Notre Dame shirt. We'll leave it at that. Glad you're here this morning. If it's Sunday morning, share this on your platforms. We love you, Summit. We will see you Sunday.